The R32 giveaway winner has been chosen. Matthew M. from Arizona, congratulations, this car is yours. We're gonna try and get on the schedule pretty soon to get you that 91 octane tune, but yes, Matthew from Arizona has won the R32. Thank you guys for participating. I guess let me know what car should we build and give away next. We're not gonna do it for a little while because our baby is due in less than a month now. So make sure that you're subscribed and your video notifications are on. Odds are when she's here, when the baby's here, I'm probably gonna be taking some breaks. So at least you can know when I'm uploading. I had an intro film to me playing some guitar, but we're just gonna go ahead and move on to the video. Um, bye. Today, easy day, I'm just dropping off the AMG to get wrapped. I'm really excited for this color. I'll show you, I'll talk about it in a little bit, but I'm doing one of my favorite colors for the AMG. The car has recently been lowered. We put the new body kit on it. I'm still waiting on the wing, and the best part of it is the front bumper. Now, I'm honestly, I forgot. <laughs> I needed to make a custom Mercedes thingy, and I didn't. <laughs> I forgot to do it. So um, hopefully I can do it after it's wrapped. Here we go. I love this steering wheel. Task Carbon did such a good, look at that dude. The, the carbon everywhere, the yellow stripe. I'm not sure if it's because of the new bumper or because my car's much lower, but I think my parking sensors need to be recalibrated because every time I get close to a car in front of me, it either thinks that, uh, maybe it's not even the car, but like every time I get really slow, I think it thinks that the, yeah. I think it thinks that the ground, him, <laughs> but they hit the ground. So I gotta fix that for sure. You know what's good? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Shoot! What's up, dude? I'm a little nervous. You ready? <laughs> I am excited, bro. What's up, man? <laughs> oh, yeah, these springs definitely settled while I was driving. This is way lower. That's nice. You ready, bro? I'm stoked. Do you have the color on you right now? I want to see it. This is this is for stage one. Oh, is it Nevo? Okay. Yeah, it's tip blue. Designito Magno Celestio. <laughs> what the hell is it called? You know, ding dong. So, Mercedes Designio Magno Selenite Gray. With this, like this, it's like a satin. So that, and then you do like a satinish yeah, kind so of finish over it. It's basically just how we would do anything. Yeah. We put this into a clear base, and then there's a matte clear that goes over it. Okay. So. Dope. Okay, it looks so metallic, like. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. So yeah, yeah I'll just show you guys this now. Obviously, like, it's gonna it's gonna look nuts whenever and it's done. And that's gonna go over like a dark gray like this. It's gonna go right over that. So. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. oh, that's gonna be so sick. So we've got that color, and then we've also got. Um, we gotta, we're gonna do accents and stuff like that. So the grill is gonna be black. The rear diffuser is gonna be black. We obviously did the carbon on the bottom. Hopefully this isn't gonna be too complicated. <laughs> yeah, the front bumper shouldn't be too bad. So I basically just like the grill, black. And then you can see like this, this line down here and stuff. Anything that's like on that line, uh, also black. Okay, so like even up to here. This is gonna be so rad. Okay, so just go over the black parts in the yeah, black parts. So grill, the under, like little mouth guppy look. I don't even know what the hell. The rest of it's pretty simple, straightforward, but. I would say chrome piece at the bottom. I would actually probably respray this whole thing like a gloss black. You want the exhausted black? You can actually, yes, that'd be wonderful, because I hate these chrome things. Yeah, they're nasty. I don't want to ever clean them, because now that I have the straight pipe, it's like so much carbon gets built up. Sick, dude. I'm so excited. Oh, it was so, it was so weird mobbing over here with just a non-painted body kit. It kind of probably looks like it's used, you're used to it on like Japanese cars or something like that. Like, oh cool, 240 with a non-painted body kit. It's like, what? What is this Mercedes with a, with, <laughs> with a, a half bondoed repaired body kit, bro? All right, bros. We got a couple, uh, couple pretty cool things, a couple pretty cool surprises for this car, but it's going to finally, well, phase one's going to be done before we get the carbon air kit. <laughs> I guess I'll spoil it. So. Big thanks to Get Dipped. We'll see you guys in about a week. The Mercedes is finally finished. I'm actually going out that way. Uh, let me just show you guys. If you guys missed it, just made a video about cleaning all the flood damage in my shop. Well, spoiler alert, flooded again, even after getting new gutters and all that kind of stuff. Long story short, but <laughs> guess what I bought? Guys, this is an industrial sized floor cleaner. 
I said screw it. I loved it so much, I had to buy one for myself. I figured, okay, 100 something bucks every time I rent it, or I could just spend and just own one. So why you not own one? We're actually dropping it off to get serviced. It's a used one. It's gonna be sick. We're gonna give it a paint job, maybe a little, little anime livery on the side. It's gonna be sick. Hey, we're getting close. Show them the bump. Let's see the bump. Oh. I feel like it doesn't do justice in the car, but. <laughs> Gee, big. Guys, you're gonna be a dad in literally less than a month. Less than a month. <laughs> So I haven't <laughs> driven any of my cool cars in like probably like a month or two because my AMG has been under the knife. I've run out of fuel on my Evo for my turbo build. My Evo 8 is still getting paint and the motor's still getting built. Supra is at Ethan's. R33 is still waiting on parts for its motor build. So I've just been driving like a truck and that's it around. I'm so ready to have one of my cool cars again. Oh, hey. I'm so excited. You guys realize too, the AMG has never looked how I've wanted it until right now. How you're about to see it is exactly how I've wanted it to look for six months now. Yeah, what you envisioned when you bought it. That's good, brother. That's not dude. You set the alarm on. I crashed my car like what during you, this week. What'd you do that for? So, <laughs> that's fine, no, that's good. We can, uh, I just want to see it, dude. Oh. oh, dude! Damn! That looks so good. Oh my god, it's so good, bro! It's Holy it's crap, dude! The color turned out cooler than I thought. Like this is actually like I don't know if this is exactly the OE color, but it, I mean, as far as I'm aware, it is. It might not be exactly the same finish. I like it a lot. Holy crap, dude. This is, okay, lighting is kind of rough in here right now, but you guys, look at this. I've still got to make the uh, the emblem. Actually, oh, kind of like. So oh, man, dude, you did a great job on the bumper. Yeah, that was, like <laughs> was that pretty hard to do? Yeah. <laughs> the skirts. Doesn't even have the wing on it yet, bro. Dog. So what is that? So this is an Alpha Pigments color that he made. He gets the paint code and he actually makes it. Oh. Yeah, so that's why I'm saying as far as I'm so aware. So this is the, it, this cool is. If you could find one and park next to it. Yeah. Just to see. Damn, dude, this is my favorite color that they did on the AMGs. Oh boy. <laughs> Here's another cool thing. This actually was Brett's idea. So I wanted to do the black wheels, obviously, because we're running stockies. Yellow calipers to match the yellow interior, like the yellow on the steering wheel on the interior. So that's badass. I was gonna do like a chartreuse color, but because of the little accents we've got in there, that's that's absolutely perfect. That is. I like the caliper. Yeah. That's killer. You guys kill it as always. Make sure you check out my boy Brett. My boys at Get Dip Services, if you guys want to wrap your car, I think this is better than actually vinyl wrapping your car because it will actually preserve your paint underneath. There's no like glue or anything like that, any adhesive. I mean, it's very safe. It's, it's quick, fast, easy, and it looks amazing. Good job, boys. By the way, I'm blind. Didn't find the, there's a parking sensor. Do you turn, I can turn it off right there. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> boys, I missed my car, dude. I missed my car. Just found out that we break traction in uh, fourth gear in this car if it's wet, so. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to rain till three, dude, and it's 12 o'clock. I know it's supposed to be, I know it's flooding at my house right now, dude. Oh, it's the worst feeling. Oh, guys, that's my 
car. Woo, that was crazy. There's people backwards on the highway doing 360s. That was the sketchiest drive I've ever done. Um, my shop is currently flooding, so. <laughs> Here's my car, guys. Bro, I'm so mad. The forecast said 0% chance of rain till three o'clock. It is 12 o'clock and it just downpoured torrentially. Like it's ran for maybe 30 minutes and it is just completely flooded again. But I got my pumps going. I don't know if I've showed you guys this, but I've got my sick little get up. What a freaking son of a bitch, dude. That was a scary drive, dude. Um, of course, the first drive back in one of my cool cars <laughs> it was just like this, the worst. I hydroplaned like twice. It was sketchy and I was just, I was, I was being a responsible young boy. Let's get her inside. Whew. Driving behind you in the rain, it was like very cinematic looking and I was like, man. This Did you get any rollers? No. No. no I was white knuckling the whole Damn. Thing. In the meantime, if you guys have been wondering what I've been doing uh, on my two weeks off, this has been it. I've been kind of medicating the damages. Still in talks with my lawyer. Interesting detail. Contractor blocked me, blocked my number, so that's a fun one. Farmer Brown's been taking care of his crops real nice. <laughs> Look at that. That dude sucking, sucking water. I know a lot of you guys have been saying that I've been handling this well, but it, it really is a, it really is genuinely a huge heartbreak to come out to a shop and, uh, you know, constantly have this. For one, your contractor's now blocked you, doesn't want anything to do with you to like, you know, it's like he, he literally just doesn't care. He's like, you know what, screw that guy. Hurts my heart, hurts my soul. But that's why I did get Big Bertha, bought a Clark, because I knew it was gonna keep flooding. And honestly, it's really nice for cleaning up oil spills and other stuff like that. I'm gonna get this cleaned up, finished up, and hell, I'll probably even put the, the badge on. Three, two, one. So here it is in all its glory. The only thing missing is the wing and Jose is finishing that up, doing full carbon fiber with it. This is exactly how I have envisioned and wanted the car to look since I bought it. You guys know that I like to get stuff that's a little bit different. I got this car because it's super comparable to the GTR, the R35, and it's a better replacement, like it's nicer, it's, it's just really cool. Car handles great, car drives incredibly well, sounds amazing, it makes V8 noises. The reason why I bought it 2016, this whole time, or 2017, whatever it is, is I knew that I was gonna end up doing a whole front end conversion and again guys this is not the final this is actually just phase one I guess all you guys can look them up on Instagram but I am doing a full carbon air GT3 conversion on this but this is how I wanted this is how I want it in the meantime ever since I got the car this is exactly how I've envisioned it and uh, I'm really excited to finally drive this around it looks mean it looks aggressive it's got lots of carbon fiber bits on it and um, it just looks bad ass I ended up getting the uh, the Mercedes logo on with, um, I use some JB Weld. Hopefully it stays on, but uh, you can't really tell. It looks really nice. For one, the spacers did, an, I, I knew that the stock wheels would look okay-ish. The reason I still have stock wheels on it is because my 2021 staggered wheels are actually being made for the GT3 kit, which is much wider than this. I figured doing black wheels, yellow accents with the AMG. I love how he does that. He just prints the sticker and then puts the AMG back on it. It's so sick, dude. All of the accents have been trimmed black, so where it says V8 by Turbo up there, trim black. My favorite part right now is uh, just the gloss black diffuser on the car. The plastic was getting worn out. This was chrome, and so that is now, you know, not chrome. Uh, full chrome delete. It's so, it's so good, bro. Um, I actually like it more when the lights are on. When the lights are on, prior design side skirts and side skirt extensions, uh, Jose Delira did do all of the carbon fiber by hand on this. These are not carbon fiber whenever you get them. They usually, people just paint them, but full carbon fiber on this carbon fiber front. This car with an exhaust, a tune, uh, that woke it up and that made it fun to drive. But literally just wheel spacers, which I'm usually not a fan of, wheel spacers, stock wheels, KW sleeves, made it look so, so, so perfect. Fun fact, guys. A lot of people ask about detailing satin stuff, and I want you guys to know, not all products are, are good for satin, but I did use ceramic speed shine all over the entire car, and so that gave it a hydrophobic finish, 
but without making it glossy. So we kept the satin and uh, this stuff does work. And by the way, I do have a discount code for you guys. It's in the description. It's code Shanks. You save 10% on anything Griot's Garage. All the liquid car care products are made right here in the USA. It's really good stuff. They all smell good. But I also used wheel Griot's Garage wheel cleaner, Griot's Garage tire cleaner, and tire shine and that shined it all up. So the car looks much better. It was so, so, so dirty after driving home in a freaking monsoon. It's sleek and it's got like dynamic body lines like a Porsche. It's got the features of a supercar. It's super aggressive, it's low. It's got the classic turbo AMG sound. It outperforms pretty much any supercar in its class, but it's still got the luxurious feel to it, dude. And so many awesome gadgets. This car has blown me away. As for the shop update, it thankfully did not rain last night but we have at least three more days of rain to go. I'll keep you guys posted on the whole, I don't want to say lawsuit because it like, it's not technically a lawsuit yet, but I'm trying to do my best to medicate everything as best as possible. I was out here at like, if you guys follow my Instagram stories, I've been here at midnight, you know, trying to get everything sucked out of here. In fact, I actually paused one of the pumps while just so you guys could hear me, but uh, look at how nasty this is. I mean, I'm constantly walking in the mud, getting in here, I'll clean it out. Also, Bertha is fixed. Uh, Victoria's bringing it back right now. Got both of them running again the shop is pissing happy <laughs> it's so important guys to have a good attitude and at least a healthy outlook on everything going on in life no matter what two things I want to tell you is somehow some way have fun today there's a lot of things to be pissed about there's a lot of things to be mad about but there's just as many things to be grateful for maybe just grab a sheet of paper today write down five things or three things three things minimum that's easy just write down three things you're thankful for to be honest hate that I have to do this constantly. Grateful for the shop, grateful for my cars, and those are material possessions. I'm thankful for my health. Some people didn't wake up today with the opportunity to stay alive. Some people didn't wake up today and eat, you know? Some of them can't afford to eat. Some of them don't even have a home. Count your blessings in every way you can. There's always a way to look at life poorly, and there's always ways to look at life through the light. You guys have a great day. I love the AMG. It's, it's so good. <laughs> happy, happy, happy. All right, you guys have an amazing day. Peace. Hey, by the way, make sure you're subscribed and you have that bell notification on. Helps out a ton. Also, make sure you watch those two videos. I have two videos right in front of you. Helps me a ton if you watch them. That's it. Bye.